You're in a room alone, huddled in a corner with your arms over your head and your eyes squeezed tightly shut, humming a song, hoping it will be enough to drown out the voice. The voice is deep, low, and mesmerizing in a seductively terrifying way. When it speaks, you somehow want to listen, even though you know you shouldn't because it only has terrible things to say that are frightening to the bone. Unable to avoid the pull of the voice that's like a siren calling out to a lost ship, you slowly open your eyes and look around. Finally, you see it, the source of the evil voice that accompanies a large form that's lurking in the shadows. You decide to stand and come face to face with a shadowy man who enjoys whispering wickedly evil notions in your ear day in and day out, waiting for you to act on his commands. No matter how many times you deny his requests and scream at him to leave, you alone, he still comes faithfully every day to see if he's weakened your resolve. Scary, isn't it? The thought that you would have to live with this kind of hallucination on a day-to-day -day basis, that an evil man is with you, always whispering in your head to do despicable things to yourself or those you love. Sadly, this could be a reality for someone suffering with schizophrenia. I am a licensed practical nurse at a long-term care facility that has a special care unit where I care for many patients that suffer from this disorder. Today, I'm going to speak with you a little about schizophrenia, how it's caused, its symptoms, and treatment. There is no known cause of schizophrenia, but researchers believe that it's a combination of genetics, brain chemistry, and environment play a role in developing this disorder. Although there is no direct cause linked to this disorder, there are some risk factors that can increase the risk of, get, of triggering it, such as having a family history of the disorder, pregnancy and birth complications like malnutrition, exposure to toxins or viruses, <clears throat> and taking mind-altering drugs as a teen or young adult. Along with there being no cause of schizophrenia, it can also be very hard to diagnose. Symptoms include delusions, hallucinations, disorganized thinking, extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behaviors, and negative symptoms. Delusions are like false realities. They could think they are being hurt, that someone is talking bad about them, or they may even think that they're famous or royal. Hallucinations are where you see and hear something or someone that is not there. And disorganized thinking can make it hard to communicate with others. They can say words, but it's all out of order and it's a jumbled mess and it's often referred to as word salad. Extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behaviors can range from them acting like a child um, to unpredictable agitation or rage. Negative symptoms are where a person with schizophrenia uh, lacks the ability to function normally. Um, they don't make eye contact with other people. They don't have facial expressions. They ne start to neglect their hygiene, um, emotions. They're socially withdrawn from people. S and symptoms don't usually manifest in males until their early to mid-20s and in the late 20s of women. And it's not common for children and people over the age of 45 to get a diagnosis of schizophrenia. Although schizophrenia can manifest in teens, but the symptoms are similar to the ones in adults. But it's even harder to diagnose in a teen because the symptoms kind of mimic that of normal teenage development. Like withdrawn from friends and family, decreased school performance, trouble sleeping, irritability and lack of motivation. And treating those with schizophrenia can be hard, if not as hard as diagnosing it, because they honestly believe there's nothing wrong with them. Treatment consists of lifelong medicine regimen, like an antipsychotic like Thorazine, Trilofan, or Prolixin, along with psychotherapy. And psychotherapy is like talk therapy. It's supposed to improve an individual's well-being, their mental health, um, help them resolve their troublesome behavior, their beliefs, compulsions, 
thoughts, emotions, and help improve their relationships and social skills. If left untreated, it can lead to suicide, anxiety disorders, OCD, depression, drug abuse, inability to work or go to school, financial problems, homelessness, social isolation, and aggressive behavior. While schizophrenia is a severe mental disorder that affects the way people think, act, express emotions, perceive reality, and relate to others, it is not a common disorder. It is chronic and it is disability, disabling, and gone untreated, it can be life altering, not only for the patient, but for their family and friends as well.